So I've had quite a few people comment on the video that I recently posted asking how I was able to play my own Xbox games on the Quest 3. And I don't just mean using the Game Pass app. There is an official Game Pass app available for the Quest 2, 3 and Pro, which allows you to play xCloud games. That means that you can stream any game that is currently available on Game Pass directly to the Quest 3, which is fantastic if the game you want to play is on Game Pass. Um, however, I wanted to play Dead Island, for example, which isn't on Game Pass. So I ended up doing a little bit of jiggery pokery and getting it working. So let me show you how I did that now. So the first thing you're going to want to do is head over to sidequestvr.com and click on Get SideQuest. You'll see that option in the top of the menu there. On the Get SideQuest page, you'll see two options, Easy Installer or Advanced. We want to go for the Advanced Installer. The reason for that is because it allows you to install APK files directly onto the Quest through the application. So hit that download button, get that installed. Once you've got SideQuest installed, you're going to notice up here it's going to say not detected. Specifically, if you've not installed SideQuest on your Quest before, you'll have this here. If you click Open Setup Instructions, it will talk you through what you need to do in order to get everything set up on the Quest. So I'm not going to go into huge amounts of detail with these. What you need to do is register as a developer on Meta, put the device into developer mode, and then connect it. That it, it, there's, the instructions that these guys provide are way better than what I can do. So follow the instructions that you've got on here until everything says it's complete. Once SideQuest says that everything is green and that it's connected to your Oculus Quest or your Meta Quest, next thing you need to do is get the actual Xbox APK itself. To do that, head over to uptodown.com and search for the Xbox app. And you should find it here. The URL is on top on screen. If you do need that, you can go directly to it. Once you're on this page, click get the latest version to download the APK and save that somewhere where you can easily get to it. OK, so once we've downloaded the APK, we need to go back to SideQuest and you'll notice we've got a few icons along the top here. This is the one that we're interested in. Install APK file from folder on computer. Give that a click, browse to the location where you saved the APK, mine's here in downloads. Just simply click that and click open. SideQuest will then tell us that it's installing the APK and once complete, we should get a nice little green tick. Now we need to throw our headset on and open up the application within the actual Quest itself. Once you've got your headset on and you've signed into uh, your Quest, what you want to do is go down to the app library here, and this opens up all of our applications. Now you might be mistaken in thinking that that app should show up in here, because unfortunately it won't. The all filter apparently doesn't include all. What we need to do is click on the filter there and go down to unknown sources. In there, we'll see SideQuest, which we've just loaded, and the Xbox APK that we installed as well. Click on the Xbox app, and it'll open this. Now, don't be worried about the size, because all you need to do is grab the corners, and you can scale it out as big as it will let you. Now, for me personally, I think that's a decent size. If it's the first time that you've opened the app, it will ask you to sign in with your gamer tag. Click Sign In. Once you've signed in, you'll then be presented with this button up here. If you give that a click, You'll see an option that says you haven't set up a console yet. Click the console. In order to set one up, all you do is sign into your Xbox console with the same account that you signed into this application with, and then it will prompt you on the Xbox itself to confirm a code and type in some digits. Once you've done that, your Xbox will show up in here, and that enables remote play on the device. So if you give that a click, once it connects to your Xbox, it will say that you need to connect a Bluetooth controller to the Xbox or to the headset. Now, I've actually connected my controller to the MetaQuest. That's really easy to do. All you do is you put the, the controller in pairing mode, you go into your Bluetooth settings on the Quest, and you click Add, and it'll add the controller for you. Once you've done that, you've got all your games and you can stream them and you can play them to your heart's content now as i mentioned on my previous video the quality in this menu doesn't look great and i was a little bit worried at first however once you get into a game the quality is not actually bad i think the streaming quality is 720p but to be fair on this on this screen that we've got here i think it's perfectly acceptable for playing and it certainly gets us playing you know games remotely on the quest because at the moment unfortunately the game pass app doesn't support playing your own titles i believe that is planned because that was one of the biggest benefits of xcloud when it was announced was that you'd be able to play your own games on there currently you can't so for example i wanted to play dead island 2 so i set this up and this way i can play dead island 2 you can also play this in mixed reality if you want um, i'm just not doing that for you right now because my desk is a mess um, but yeah, you can 
you can set it up and this should hopefully get you going. Now, hopefully, if you followed those instructions, you should now have the Xbox app on your Quest. Obviously, it's not as high quality as using the Game Pass app, but that, as I said, doesn't support playing your own titles. So for now, the Xbox app and the Quest is the only way we're going to play our own Xbox games in mixed reality. If you have any trouble, drop me a comment below and I'll try and help you out. And if you enjoyed this video and found it any way useful, drop me a follow. Thanks for watching. Bye.